Okay, Kim 20s, I just wanted to briefly talk about mono and polyprotic acids and bases. So this should be just a relatively short little video. What does it mean, mono? What does that prefix mean to you guys? Mono, one. So when we have a monoprotic acid, it has one acidic hydrogen atom in the formula. Why? Because it can react one time with water to make hydronium ions. So hydrochloric acid, look at the formula, 1H, monoprotic. Here's another example, hydrocyanic, HCN, 1H in the formula. Now this guy is a strong acid and this guy is a weak acid. So let's go to our data booklet and take a look and find some of these monoprotic acids. Okay, well, here we go, right at the very top, perchloric acid, 1H, reacts one time with water to produce hydronium. Oh, 1H, 1H. So is there some strong acids that have 1H? Yes, indeed. Oh, is there some down here in the weak acid section? Yeah, there's 1H, 1H. Well, what about these other guys? This guy has two H's and this guy has three H's. Are those monoprotic? No, those guys are polyprotic. They have more than one acidic hydrogen in their formula. They can react more than one time with water to make hydronium ions. So H2SO4, two hydrogens, that's more than one. It's polyprotic. H3, well, there's three hydrogens. And this guy is pretty important. There's only one strong acid that is diprotic or polyprotic. The majority of these polyprotic acids, like this guy, are weak acids. Okay, and so let's just briefly take a look at our data booklet and see what we have for examples of polyprotics. Aha, here's H2SO4. Just ignore this stuff down here for a sec. Sorry about that. Oh, here's an H here and an H here. That guy is polyprotic. Oh, H2 polyprotic. Okay, and so OH3 polyprotic. All those guys are polyprotic acids. They have more than one ionizable hydrogen to react with water to make hydronium. So of course, most polyprotics are weak except sulfuric acid. We saw he's the only strong acid. And then now what if I'm asking you about a monoprotic base? Well, shifting gears, still mono meaning one but this time that it's a base it reacts one time with water to make hydroxide ions so a lot of times when you have an acid and it um, reacts and the hydrogen combines with water to form hydronium the anion that's left over would be considered then a base so here's an example of an anion the acetate anion reacts one time with water to make hydronium so let's Let's see that CH3 COO minus aqueous is going to react with water. Well, what's water? H2O or HOH. So what happens there? Well, this is the reverse of what happens in an acid. Here, the hydrogen moves from the water onto this guy. What do we get? CH3, COOH. There's that weak acid, acetic acid. Plus who? Well, plus hydroxide ions. So there's only one reaction there, right? If you could take this guy and react him one more time with water, well, you can't make, there's no such thing as CH3, COOH2 plus. That doesn't exist. So there's not going to be one more reaction with water. It's just one time reaction with water to make hydroxide. So what's a polyprotic base? Well, again, poly, more than one. More than one what? More than one reaction with water to make hydroxide ions. So a lot of these monoprotics are going to be like HSO3 minus. It's an anion with a negative charge on it. We saw CH3COO minus. What's a polyprotic look like? CO32 minus. What about this guy? SO32 minus. So that 
two negative or a three negative ion charge means it can react more than one time with water. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, here's an example of what I'm trying to say is that when it reacts more than one time with water, we get this donation of a proton. So H2O, I'm going to rewrite that as HOH. And we know this hydrogen is going to move on to the CO3. What does that make? HCO3 minus and hydroxide. Is it a base? Yeah, it just made hydroxide ions in solution. So it's definitely a base. So this reaction isn't done yet. This guy now is going to be our starting substance in this reaction, and the water molecule is going to react with it. The H is going to move on to there, and now what do you have? H2CO3 and hydroxide. Did it just make hydroxide in solution? Yeah, so it's a base. Now, can this guy react with water one more time? H2CO3. What happens when it reacts with water? HOH. Have you ever heard of this? H3CO3 plus? No, because it doesn't exist. So it can react more than one time with water, but that's it. It's not gonna react three times, right? It's CO3 two minus. So the charge here tells you how many times it reacts with water, two times, right? Here's the first reaction, number one here, reaction with water to make the bicarbonate ion. Second reaction is gonna make H2CO3 and then it won't react again. So the charge typically tells you how many times it reacts with water. Okay, so mono and polyprotic acids and bases tells you how many times it reacts with water to produce uh, hydronium ions. If it's a monoprotic base, it reacts one time with water. If it's polyprotic, it reacts more than one time with water. Okay, that's it on acids and bases. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me, michelle.ladine at ghsd75.ca. Talk to you later.